Drew. Oh, wow. Drew McEnany, what is up, my friend? Well, hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's going yeah. on? Doing good. Been too goddamn long. Doing a uh, show. Uh, we've. What was? What was the last time we talked, Drew? Uh, it was almost two years ago. It was Christmas <sighs> time, 2017. Oh my God! Wow, I did not realize. Did not realize it's been that long. Yeah. And you mentioned uh, it yeah. when we talked uh, about <laughs> Half New Year, and it's coming out when September 10th. September 10th everywhere uh, on VOD. Not in the movie theater, guys. Not yet. Okay. But, uh, soon enough. Cool. <laughs> How does it feel to actually have it produced and, and, and made? Uh, you know, honestly, I don't think I've been able to, like, stop and think about it. I've just been going for, for two years because, you know, I, I co-wrote it, co-produced it as well as being one of the, the leads in it. So it's been producer mode ever since we stopped shooting. Um, so I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's scary, but it's exciting. And, mm -hmm. and oh God, Oh God, now you're making me sweat. I don't know. Oh. Fuck, everybody's going to hate it. I suck. No. I'm the worst. No, we saw it. We saw it. Man. Oh, some saw it. I loved it. Some, I loved, some it. loved it. Uh, it it's like uh, wow. real coming of age. I felt like coming of age and almost like, Kind of like just a group that I would definitely watch again in a movie. Kind of like, uh, like I compare it to like uh, Seth Rogen and uh, what's his tooth? Uh, the sweet boy I love, Danny McBride. Like those guys, like I would kind of definitely watch a movie again with you guys and gals in it. Well, maybe that'll happen. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Maybe if you're lucky, it does say at the end of the movie, "The end for now." I don't know if you yes. saw that. That's what I was gonna ask. Like, do you have a sequel like <laughs> planned, or uh, or is that just something you would work on eventually? Ooh, all right. I mean, okay. Well, obviously, you can tell that we had a blast shooting that movie. Yeah. Everybody yes. got along so well. It was just so much fun. Um, FYI, Brooke Lewis says hi. She just texted me, send her love. So, Brooke Lewis, my love to you what guys, up? So. Brooke Lewis. Um, anyway, so <laughs> we, yeah, there's an idea for a sequel if it gets popular. Cool. Who knows? You know, never, never, never close the book. Always keep it open. Would it be like uh, years later? Like, because this, I kind of feel like, catches your late 20s, early 30s. Would it be like, would that catch like your 40s, like late 30s? No. No, ah. if we do a sequel, it's a year later. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, cool. actually, so the movie obviously takes place half New York, the last weekend in June. Yes. Um, the sequel would start on Halloween. Uh, some stuff goes down, and then, uh, yeah, I don't want to give it too much away. Oh! Just, uh, just, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you via direct message on Twitter, but don't Fuck tell yeah. anyone that. Even just in the beginning, though, like that, this is that whole party in the beginning oh just being out of control, bonkers. Uh, what was that guy's name? Uh, oh my God, Josh. I, I, yeah, Josh was just just Josh. insane. Slim said you just captured like a party. You captured he, a party perfectly. That, and I was also going oh. to say like, do you, like, you're very Jersey, bro. Like we're from Jersey, and that He's was from like Philly. a Philly. That uh, from Philly. Okay, so 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 Philly is very I mean, related to Jersey because like that was like. Like, I was talking uh, to my buddy uh, Slambo here, and I'm like, man, it was like you fucking came and recorded one of the parties we had when we were younger. It was like beat for beat. And and the fact that you just said Halloween, I'm like, yep. <laughs> so, like, we would always have this fucking group of friends that, like, every year we would get together for a Halloween party. And a New Year's Eve party, not a half New Year, but oh but God. a New Year's Eve party, and that would be the pattern: wow. Halloween and New Year's Eve, and the same shit that went down in that first party, same shit that would went down in our parties. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's still mad from the last party, and they're holding it against you. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, and it's not. Yeah. We're not it's even so joking. It's, 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 same gonna, shit. it's gonna erupt. It's yeah. gonna get real. I, I just love. Yeah. You know, it, it's so funny because, yes, I'm a, I'm a Philly kid through and through. You know, uh, I love where I'm from. I love Jersey, too, because obviously Seattle in the summer. Duh. Um, but uh, we, when I moved out here, I, I found that it wasn't that much different. And we still had parties like that cool. here in L.A. Um, 
So the only difference is we don't really play Edward Forty hands too much in LA as I did um, in Philly. Slam-o. But um, that's one of his. Maybe I'll bring that back. Games. Yeah, you should bring it out there. I was gonna say though, yeah, the cast the cast is great. Uh, are are you guys friends? Have you guys known each other for a long time? Because Joss was crazy. Brooke was just. I know you've been friends with Brooke for a while. She was just the lifely Jersey. Um, yep. Bishop. Bishop said some of my favorite things oh, in the Bishop. movie. His lines were yeah. great. You, you, as Reed, were just uh, an amazing character. Uh, Messiah. The Messiah, too. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Fucking love the Messiah. <laughs> um, uh, some of us were friends. Some of us were not uh, friends. We were all just kind of cast, and we you know, hung out on set, and it, it kind of worked out. Um, cool. Uh, I'm trying to think if I should tell you who I was friends with or if I should have you guess. Like, what's more fun? Um, so, I, okay, like, my guess, I want to just jump on, like, I think guess is more fun. So, you got to, like, the, the, the bond that you wrote between you and the Josh character, like, that's got to be real, bro. Um, so, we, we, Matt Schulte, who plays Josh, and I, yes, we have been friends for, for years, the character was not written for him at all. I made I made everyone audition except for Brooke. <laughs> and they were all kind of <laughs> pissed off at me. But um, <laughs> when they found out Brooke but, didn't audition, what is ooh, this shit? Brooke, Brooke doesn't have to audition, but everybody else does. Aren't we your friends, Drew? Fuck you. Uh, you know it, it. It. You know, like the script. It's not my story. Georgia and I wrote it together. Um, Tom is our director, Zach is our other producer, and it was all of our decisions. So I never went in being like, yo, my friend's going to do this. It's going to be great. They were like, okay, well, they got to audition, except for Brooke. I mean, <laughs> if Brooke would have auditioned for that part, she wouldn't have She would have gotten it anyway. She's she, fucking, she that speaks part for was herself. meticulously written for her, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. Yes, her, career, her resume speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, you don't have to see anybody else. You got Brooke Lewis for it. It's uh, <laughs> fine. Um, but yes, Matt Schulte, amazing actor, amazing as Josh, is one of my friends. We were friends for a while, but uh, I did make him audition. And he did that freak out scene in his audition and scared everyone. Oh, um, did did he have so Did he have a weapon? Did, did, he just, did he just air like with his hand or did he have like something in his hand? Uh, usually, I mean, usually in auditions, you just kind of mime it. Oh, um, I bring, I bring weapons. That's an audition I... technique. Like, you know, look this way when you have to bite someone, just <laughs> make the ah uh, sound. Um, yeah, no, he did not throw anything at us in the audition. I'd be punching but he may have wanted holes. to because I be made him audition. Punching so. holes in sheet rock for you, bro. I'm gonna show you my my fists of fury. Uh, make you believe. Oh God, that you, I could. Do you want to come in? You want to come in and audition? Do you want me to go, go back? Yes. You want to you play that it, part? Well, uh, okay. for the sequel, for the sequel, I could be. Uh, <laughs> I could be like an. an uncle. I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, cool. I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say. If you have like a car scene or something, or need something playing in the background, you can play our show. You can play our show and All feel right, well, free. I will tell you this. I'll give it away, just because I like you guys. The sequel oh. is actually set in Croatia. Ooh! How I don't have a passport. There? I don't have a passport. Yeah. You fucked me over, right? You gotta there. get your passport, guys. Oh. I mean, you know, I mean, you, 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 you. I mean, we might change it, but the reason is because <laughs> we were on set. We would hashtag Half New Year, and all these Croatian tags would come up, and we're like, "What's going on?" And so it turns out that an island or an island, uh, a town in Croatia has a Half New Year festival every Half New Year, and I was like, "I thought it was original." Um, wow! Wow! So, take the gang over there. Let's cool. Go party in some foreign land. Nice. I, I just want to like uh, talk more to how like relatable you, your story is, and it is exactly like me and Slambo when we had like we had this group of friends, <laughs> and we would throw these parties like twice or three times a year, and it would be that same fucking group of friends that we hang out with mm-hmm. every fucking day. But we're also having a party now. So <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Uh, I think I still am there somewhere. Yeah. A lot of crickets. <laughs> Drew, were you friends with the girl that played your your love interest in the movie? No, nope, met her the day before. Wow. wow. See, I figured okay, you cool. guys. Would yeah, be I my thought friends. I thought that would have. Yep. Let me tell you that uh, that attributes to good acting. Because Bo Youngblood, who plays Bryn, is fantastic and made me so comfortable and was just 
the best. We had the best time on set. We are now very good friends. Yeah, like uh, I felt like you guys had known each other for a while. Like maybe you wrote it with her in mind. No, no. It was, uh, she was cast. So, yeah. That makes you feel good. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> I'm a good actor. Congrats. Well, I mean, no, what I have to say with her, she, <laughs> she, she, she was fantastic. She brought so much life to that part, and um, she's wonderful to work with. And as a human being, she's fantastic too. So very lucky in that aspect that I got to meet her. I do remember Drew. Last time we talked to you, you said um, one of your inspirations was like Days of Confused for the movie. Correct? Oh yeah. So Absolutely. Slim promised to watch it. Have you watched it? Slim? No, I never watched Days and Confused. Oh, you're I gotta go. I watched. Um, hey, I, I watched. You, we'll I, I watched Half New Year. It's more important. <laughs> I did Is watch Half New Year? Is it? Correct. No, I'm just no. no. I don't need cool. to see. I, mean, honestly, I don't need to see. Out, Drew. Though. Days and Confused is fantastic. Well, Confused Drew, I don't need amazing. to watch Slater? Days and Confused Slater. because I saw the better version of Half New Year. <laughs> oh, all right. You're trying to you trying to butter me up, right? Yeah, well, I got the Not butter yet. in my hand. He's got margarine. He's got margarine. Don't believe him, Drew. It's not butter. Margarine, awesome. So you're gonna give me plastic, real cool, guys. Thanks a lot. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> Not a, not a good friend. Not a good oh, friend. I didn't even realize that I go. Do you guys? So I go on after. Is it Steve Coulter who just came on? Yes, yes. Hollywood actor Steve love Coulter. Hollywood um, actor Steve Coulter. He is from the Conjuring movies, and you know Shanley Caswell, who plays Izzy in our movie, was in the Conjuring as well. Ooh. Wow, I did not know that. Does she have good or bad <laughs> things to say about Steve? Honestly, I, I I didn't even realize until just now, but. <laughs> uh, I'm, I don't think Shanley would ever say anything bad about anyone. This so, is like the Steve Coulter game. He's, yeah. he's been in a lot. He's been in a lot. He's been in uh, Walking Dead. He's been in uh, Hunger Games. He's An Amazon original. Been uh, in just, like a podcast Fast and Furious 7. He's been so on... his, his resume looks much better than mine. Good for him. He worked Thanks. with Joel Schumacher at one point. <laughs> Joel wow. Schumacher. So we did another influence on the movie was St. Elmo's Fire, which was the Joel Schumacher movie. Did you know that? No. No. All right. I will uh, pitch you, you I will pitch you my movie, which is uh, called Coulter and Coulter, and it's me and Steve Coulter as cops, and one of us gets suspended, and one of us gets um, uh, framed for a murder, and uh, one of us has to save the other one, but one of us also is really drunk and goes on tour with Snoop Dogg. Does that sound good? Yeah, I just, I heard this whole thing. I was going, hey, if Snoop Dogg's in it, I'm down. Fuck yeah! <laughs> that's that's how I judge music. Like, if Snoop Dogg's in it, I'll listen to it. If not, I won't. I only listen to Snoop Dogg. I mean, as soon as I heard Snoop Dogg, I was like, in! Bring your purple hat! All right! I, it's green-lighted. Rob, I feel like every uh, movie you write has Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no, I think last time it was Dr. Dre. Oh, so. it was Dre. It was Dre. Yes. Okay. You, yeah. you're, I'm not a one-trick pony like <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> who, can, who can I play? You could play the Asian boy. Oh, perfect. I've never been more perfectly cast for anything in my entire life. <laughs> Just make so much sense now or um one of snoop dogg's backup dancers you could also Ooh. do that drew i'm drew gonna would make give you a yo. backup dancer i yes. got moves dude. That's what come say. on like whoa <laughs> whoa the audition i'm gonna i'm just gonna play backstreet's back and you're gonna dance that's all the audition is gonna uh gonna happen it's gonna it's gonna wait be... what's up do you say it's backstreet's back yeah Back that's Street's back. yeah, that's yeah. Back. It, it, when i make you audition i'm gonna play that s- Backstreet's back, and you're gonna dance, yeah. and you're gonna get the part. I mean, if it was like any other song, I'd say no. But you know, Backstreet, Backstreet Boys, down. Yeah, get ready to bust a dance move, Drew. Oh, Backstreet, back. I'm doing All right. a sprinkler right now. You yeah. can even see me. I'm, I'm gonna so keep going. Backstreet bites are whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> Drew, let's not regress here because Slim's here. Um, what was <laughs> what was your favorite part of uh, making a uh, half new year? Oh God. You know what? Oh, I, I will say this. We had a blast on set and then we figured out that we had to reshoot some more stuff, which we shot uh, mm-hmm. after I talked to you last. I think it was like April or May. Um, 
that was my favorite part, getting to come back again after being gone for so long from all these people. And everybody got back together and, and, and we shot for a day. And that was my favorite part. That's awesome. Do you want me to tell you what scenes that we had to add to the movie to give it more story? Yeah, I yes. want to know, like, what Yeah, like what made you want to add those more scenes and what, what were those scenes? You know, that's what made... Uh, I think we wanted to give a little bit more backstory to the characters so it wasn't just random. The movie originally opened with uh, Bryn at the Snowman, so everything before that was added. Oh, okay. Um, And then there was a couple more party scenes that were added. uh, The part with, uh, as I like to call it, the lion dick scene. Um, That was added as well. Do you know what I'm talking about, lion dick, when I come out in the onesie? Oh, yeah, like yeah, when you come, yeah, and you you and Josh gotta wear the onesie, the lion onesies, and yeah. you put the tail yes, between that was, your tail. Yeah, that was great. That was great. So wow. basically, ev- so everything you added was the stuff before the yeah. first half New Year's party. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a, a little bit of stuff that we added later, but for the most part, yeah, 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 cool. it was all before the party. A- we wanted to move it as, as opposed to starting where it originally did. We wanted to give a little bit more backstory, backstory. Cool. Oh, and I like that. Awesome. I like. Because it made you kind of like um, understand this group and know what this group of friends was, yeah. and then go into this party and see what they can become. But yeah, that that was awesome. Exactly. Who was who was the couple having troubles in it? Because I love both of them, and their chemistry together, opposite of each other, was good. Yeah. So the girl is Shanley Caswell from the Ca- the Conjuring. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and then John Arardi plays Blake. Blake, um, yes, I they, love Blake. They also just met the day before. So, again, fantastic actors wow. who, chemistry-wise, just clicked on set. Um, he just had that cockiness that I, I just loved. I just loved. He did. He plays... It's funny. He plays... He's written to be, like, the asshole douchebag frat bro. Yeah. And then, all of a sudden, he kind of has, he kind of has a heart of gold. You're like, wait a second. What? That's not you. Yeah. We wanted to we wanted to kind of play on cliches with character roles. I think um, Georgia and I kind of my co-writer Georgia had a lot of uh, uh, conversations about who these people were, and it was a, we wanted it to be a little bit more real. Like every cocky frat bro asshole that I've ever met in my entire life is like on the phone with their mom at seven a.m. Like, mommy, I miss you. <laughs> you know, and, and it's I, like you you put on a whole facade. It's all about like wearing masks. And pretending yes. to be somebody else that you're you're not. So, I just love seeing that that person isn't what you thought that person was. I do. I yeah. like that because like I worked with a guy once, and I'm like, this guy is this bodybuilder douchebag. But then you got to know him, and he was the coolest, most down earth person you'd ever meet. Like, I do like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I love that you called him a bodybuilder. I'm going to text him. <laughs> <laughs> All of your characters were Stunt. super relatable, which I thought yes. was, like, amazing. Like, yes. it wasn't, like, that even was the good. characters that didn't get that much uh, screen time, like, they were still, like, oh, okay, I know what this character's role is in this the group, Messiah and I kind of know this character. Messiah. He fucking, he was amazing. He was next level the Messiah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jeff Dye. Jeff <laughs> Dye was our, he was our big celebrity cameo. Well, we have a, a big celebrity cameo. I don't know if you guys noticed. I'm not going to give it away, but I'll, I'll tell you later. Ooh. It's the girl on the couch with the Messiah when the girls walk in. I did That's not. Our, our, I did not. Our big celebrity cameo. I remember the scene, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even remember there being yes. a girl around the couch. It was couch. at the party. He was around like three girls oh, were sitting around him. Okay, like, right. he's the fucking yeah, Messiah. Yeah, the girl, the one Amazing. girl who questions is, uh, that's our celebrity cameo. I'm not going to give it away. Ooh. I will be a, shh, keep quiet. Um, if you don't know, you guys suck. But you I know, do whatever. suck. It's cool. I'm, I'm not mad about it. I'm so. I'm <laughs> so, so, so this but, reminds me. Yeah. I have an important question to ask. Does Ooh. the uh-huh. Messiah actually have supernatural abilities? Yes, because he does a thing. I yes. don't know. He how does a thing. I, what do you think? I want to see a Messiah mean. spinoff. He does. He knew. He knew things that well, nobody else would fucking know. He could Slam. just be like a stage magician. No. But he definitely he's does something not, that's like know. next level. He's not card tricks. He's, he's, he's I will, not David I will Blaine. say if you, if you notice when you see him, watch the movie again. Because when you okay. notice him, his, when you see him again, like his hair's a little different. Things are a little different on purpose. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of mess when it's the Messiah character, even though it seems so like fly by night, I guess. Um, we wanted him to be 
a little mythical, but also like, well, maybe this could have happened and we just didn't notice right. kind of thing. So we, we, we definitely played on that on purpose. Awesome. What was the craziest thing that went down during filming on or off camera, Drew? Oh, God, I don't think I can answer that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Somebody is um, not going to be happy if you answer that. That's what that sounded like. It. I will, let's see. Um, honestly, it was, you know, we shot the whole movie in 10 days. I don't know if you know that. No. Um, That's amazing. Wow, that days. is great. So it was a lot of hurry up and go and was not a lot of, of, of uh, chill time or, like, there was no party time. Everyone was there super professional wow um yeah it was it was it, 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 it's so crazy because you never really go on set. if you're on if you're on a film set or you know a web series tv whatever you do it's it's serious you know you, you're on time constraints everyone's trying to do their job we all had a lot of fun there was never any ego or bullshit um everyone really got along which you can see yeah. um thank god <laughs> um, I don't really have any crazy stories besides like, you know, realistically the, the shot in the bathroom with me going to the bathroom and, uh, Brooke in, Brooke the, in the shower. shower? Yes. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to spoil much. nothing, but yes, that scene was amazing. That's I why I say that <laughs> that was my final shot on principal photography. That was the last thing I had to shoot. <laughs> that the mechanics of that scene were the hardest thing I have ever had to do as an actor. <laughs> um, it we did about I guess like eight rehearsals, and we only had one take. Wow! To do See, it, I figured you were just like because over like a few months, you were just drinking and partying, hanging out and pissing around people like in the yard and stuff. Like that's that's what my <laughs> show is. A few years of pissing I in mean, the yard. In my normal <laughs> life, yeah, but on camera, I'm not really pissing. So <sighs> I always really piss. So that's yeah. where I failed. This and, and I so was not real time. pissed. It is it is off down the. Ca- Sound See, effect. Because I, I, I piss all over Slim's stuff in his yard. And, Every break. Sure. <laughs> I piss in corners. I piss. This all makes And then what he sense. doesn't know is I lick all that stuff. I mark my territory, Drew. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> I mean, it's sterile. Get on there. <laughs> no, Drew, so serious question. Uh, so casting Brooke now as the character. Yeah, yeah, right? right? There's been like a piss? lot of serious questions. <laughs> um, it's not serious. So casting, casting Brooke as the character that plays your character's sister, do you and Brooke have a brother-sister relationship? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. The, uh, oh. How can I describe it? She is much meaner and overprotective to me in real life than she is <clears throat> in the film. Um it's hilarious. She did you guys see? She got us. So we play Reed and and, and Pam DeLuca in the film, and yeah. she got us DeLuca T-shirts that night. Oh, that is amazing! Uh-huh. I didn't see that. I didn't. That's see that. real. I was hoping you guys had like I'll a magic you the photo. Slim shirt. It was my birthday last week, so I had a little thing at my pool at my house, and uh, they all came over, and she got me. We have DeLuca shirts that we wear. Um, so yeah, yeah, we really are. We really are that close. I mean, I wrote that part for her. I, excuse me, I didn't mean I. George and I wrote that part for her as, as you know, a way of capturing our relationship. And <laughs> I think we kind of dumbed it down because she's much meaner to me in person. That Brooke, I'm just kidding. She's, Happy belated birthday, best. Drew. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mine's coming in December, so I expect things, but we'll talk about that off the air. Oh, I have to. Okay, well, I didn't get anything from you for my birthday, and, you <laughs> know. <laughs> Drew, for your... a case of White Claw, come on. <laughs> white Claw. Yeah. What is White Claw? Uh, it's, it's alcoholic salsa. White you don't want to know. It, it, it's, it's white girl wasted <laughs> juice. God, yuck. Slambo, you, you, you drank it, right? He drinks uh, all the white girl waste. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I guarantee you the uh, get togethers at Slambo's house is all white. All those, white are, claw. those are all vicious lies, all by the way. Don't lie. It's just truth. Um, Drew, we <laughs> have to wrap this up, dude. But it's been a blast. It's been a blast. Uh, well, thank you for having me on. Also, guys. Come on, you're not far from Philly. We just found out we're going to be at the First Clan Film Festival in November. Are you coming down or what? I'm ready to do Are it. Are you driving, Slim? Yes. All right, then I'm coming, Drew. Slim, come on, dude. We would do Brooke it, Drew. Drew we going. have to. Brooke and I are flying into Philly together. 
we haven't been in Philly together. We're both from there, like ever. It's not that far. It's on. We don't know the date yet. It's the the. Uh, it's Halloween weekend. What? Halloween weekend in Philly is the best. What the fuck? Come on down. Let's go. We're there. We are we there, Drew. There. We are there, and we are better be. God damn it! You're buying drinks, aren't you? <laughs> oh, you're being Drew. Cute. And if uh, we come, uh, I better I better get a big. Embraceive hug. I just from want a you. basket. From I just you. want a gift basket. I just I want, want a big hug from Drew. Just... Guys, this is a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't like to be touched. I don't like to touch people. Now I gotta give you a hug. <laughs> Rob wants a basket. Yeah, what? like what the fuck, guys? Can I just get a good like congratulations? Your movie's funny. No, like, we're we're, we're, can, high, we're high I get the basket with the iPhone. And I got a hug a with an iPhone. Embrace it. That's the shit, man. <laughs> I'll get you a white claw. How about that? All right, I'll take I'll take a white claw. I'll take a basket of white claws, and we will be there. A basket? You are a greedy motherfucker, aren't you? Fuck no, I'm yeah. Just of course, Fuck I would yeah. get you a basket. I get you guys whatever the hell you want. But, you know, I almost wore my my Robin Slim shirt today, but um, it, it was in the washer. Yeah, um, we yeah. I don't do wash. That's what moms are for. <laughs> That's what moms are for. Oh, and also, I do have to apologize to you guys, though. I did try to wear the Robin Slim shirt in the movie for some of the reshoots, and then um, it ended up not working. We're not but allowing I, that. I'm sorry. Fuck, I want, I want half New Year money. We'll talk. Half, half New Year money? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, where is it? I mean, it's, it's with Robin Slim money. <laughs> it's nowhere. It's, it um, doesn't exist. True. Welcome to my world, my friend. Jesus. All right, I better see you guys. I'm going to give you some details for the first oh. first class film festival, motherfucker. It's our fifth festival. And also, wow. we won best film at the, the LA Greek Fest. Did you know that? No, I did no. not. So if Congrats. we go, yes. Drew, so if we go, yeah. that that's going to be our first Film festival, Ooh. and we will go. So that will be a big deal. And I'm bringing her gone. Wow. I'm bringing a script I've, wow. for Steve Coulter's Coulter and Coulter. I've never been to a film festival, and I know Rob has never been to a film festival. You don't know Rob. You know what? I will. I, I like will. That. I will make you this deal, guys. If you will really come down, I will buy your tickets to the film festival. All right. And my bail. <laughs> mm. Mm, I mean, I'll get you. I'll get you in contact with a real good bondsman, though. You're okay. going to be handled. That is all that matters is the handling <laughs> charge of the bell. not not by me, but by someone. All right. Sure. I want dog the bounty hunter, and that's the only reason I'm showing up. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Drew. Love you too, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. It's been a pleasure. You're up on your new season, motherfucker. Fuck yeah, bro. We will talk to you soon. We will plug, see you soon. Plug right. real quick. Plug. Uh, plug, plug, plug. Everywhere. We can find you. Well, oh, uh, uh, got the Drew Mac on all social media and Half New Year movie or Half New Year everywhere as well. We're on VOD, all major platforms, September 10th. Jesus. We'll see you then, Drew. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.